Welcome back to Darkfall Ghost Vigil. So at the very end of the last episode, I discovered that the pattern of the bed sheets is what connects to the patterns that we see here, which are associated with numbers on the keypad for the locker. Um, so I just went around and looked at which book was associated with which pattern exactly and connected them. So now I know all of this. However, one thing was still missing. And that is, we know what what uh, duvet and what book is associated with what number on the keypad, but we don't know which person is associated with each bed and book. Because there's a list of initials up here, which are students. And that's I'm pretty certain that's the order of the numbers that need to be pressed. So I had to look at a walkthrough for a hint on that and found it. I'd forgotten that there's a list in the library. Remember that place we visited a long time ago? There is this list in the library with people's names and the things that they rented. So that should help. Let's put it together. I know it might be a little bit small. So PC was the first one. PC... Pedo Cork? Yep, must be that. And that's Lenny's Egg. Which is five, so very first number is five. Then it's LG. L Green. L Green. Nani. Which is this horrible font down here. Which is eight. So that's an eight. KT. K Tilby. It's gotta be that one. Flesh Eaters. Flesh Eaters. So that's nine. ND. Nathaniel. I think oh, that goes Nathaniel. Danvers. N Danvers. Sampfire and Steed. Yes. Which is one. WH. W Hunt. Psypods. Three. And DC. D. Coles. Noondial. Which is four. Five, eight, nine, one, three, four. Yeah. Five, eight, nine, one, three, four. Heck yeah. What am I going to do with coins? Top secret. We have a plan. Record all and every one of the sightings. Noises, whispers, shadow people, and them. The family. Patrick is keeping score. The symbol is protection. The eyes are ever watching. It stops the dark fall from seeing within. We hide our secrets well and don't speak of the code. It would know. Mr. Harding made the symbol. He made it out of expensive metals and our 2P coins. He needed it for a purpose. A key for lock, he said. The activity seems to be moving, coming closer from below. Mr. Harding found something beyond the pink door. It all started then, and now he's dead. Ollie is dead too. Who's next? There's only one way to prove that the ghosts exist. With evidence. The cassette tapes are the best we have. There's a message there, a sound. We could go to the papers, get all this sorted out, but we are also worried. This is our home. It's not perfect, but it's home nonetheless. It's been good to us. We don't want it to end. We might never see each other again. Nigel has had another dream. The same place again, the town in the fog. White houses around a harbor somewhere near the sea. He's only a kid, but he described the place in loads of detail like he'd been there before. All the place names. I've written them down. Then I realized it's the place in the painting. Ah, I know where those are. Yeah, we've seen, remember those paintings? Like a group of paintings that we could zoom in on and we'd hear voices from, I guess, the scene that they were depicting? Miss Prem, our nurse, is dead. She was nice. This is the end for our home. 
The people have come, strangers from Oxford. They've come to take us away, forever. The girls had a plan. We were too late. We should have worked together. They were going to trick the Darkfall with a doll. Reshma called it an effigy. Daz, maybe it's not too late? Okay, so I should go to the painting and I think use the little pieces of paper that have a bunch of names on them on the painting, perhaps? Aside from that, we have another tape to listen to. And also, they talk about how the dark fall is coming from below. The activity seems to be moving, coming closer from below. Yeah, that's what I figured, because there's something, you know, there's evil underneath the house. So I figured that it would start on the lowest floor, which gave me at least a little bit of a hint on where it would start in terms of the uh, newest to oldest activity, that other puzzle we have to solve. But not enough. I, I don't think it's enough. Oh yeah, and they talked about making that symbol, which is some sort of a key out of two pence coins. I guess I'm going to be making one as well. How would I... Uh, I mean, we don't have any tools to do anything like that right now. So I think that's going to have to wait. Don't think I've seen any smelteries nearby. Okay, um... Let's head to the painting, which is actually pretty close. I think it's just outside the day room. And then over the pile of junk, if I remember right. Yeah. I'm not sure which one specifically. Mm, I guess it's probably not that one. Why would these go on here, though? Like, what would you do with them? Show the bear, Celtic Corner. A lighthouse. Is there a lighthouse in one of these? Not that I can see. I remember there was a map somewhere. I really don't remember where. But there was a map somewhere. Maybe I need to put them on that. That would make more sense than just a painting. Yeah, let me go find that. Actually, hold on. Before that, I forgot to listen to the tape. Noises by the door. There's a sound. Like a word. No, uh, more like a song? What? Uh, yeah. More like a chant, says Patrick. It's like a spell. Like magic. And we call it on tape. By the stairs. Ready? Right. Here we go. Why are these important? What are they going to do? Is it going to purge the darkness? It's really weird how it only shows up when you're <laughs> zoomed in. Couldn't find the map I was thinking of, so... In lieu of that, I just took a peek at the walkthrough and found out that the solution to finding the oldest... or marking the oldest to the newest sightings is a lot simpler than I thought. 
I only looked a part of the answer, so I still need to figure it out. Okay, I'm just going to cut all that floundering about out. I thought I knew how to solve this puzzle, so I tried to solve it, even after looking at the walkthrough and getting a hint. But then it just all ended in disaster, and it turns out I didn't know how to solve it, and I just looked at the solution, and even knowing the solution, I don't understand how that's the correct answer and how I'm supposed to arrive at it. So I'm just going to say whatever, let's just finish this. Hey, anyone? Yeah, all evidence suggests the kitchen is where it all started. Uh, repeat, did you say the kitchens? Yeah, our newbie has made a breakthrough. Uh, yeah, go on. Ben here, yeah, the kitchen is the oldest part of the house. Yeah, say again, over. Bear's right, the kitchen was built in the old foundations. Right, hey, I'm going there now. Any ideas? It's blocked up, but you, you might find access from outside? It's your breakthrough, newbie. You check it out. Might find access from outside. With That would have to be the padlock, right? Okay, according to the guide, we're just waiting for a script trigger. We just go down here and then someone radios that they're going to check out the lighthouse? Hi, anyone? Come in. Go ahead. Is, um, anyone inside the greenhouse? Copy, anyone by the greenhouse. Jen? Newbie? No, I said in the greenhouse. Say again. There's someone in the old greenhouse. But we deadlocked the door with a keypad. Yeah, but I can see a light. Someone's in there. Police? Security? You did definitely get full permission to be here, yeah? Uh, to use the house? Uh-huh. Negative. No permission. So no one knows we are here. Yes, that's the situation. Oh, for f oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck's sake, Steve. I'm gonna take a look. Uh, s stay out of sight. Find out who it is. Piss off. And then somebody's supposed to, at some point, tell me that they, like, they've gone missing in the greenhouse. They went to go look at it, and then they're just not contactable anymore, and then they should give me the code to the greenhouse. I, I don't know what I need to do specifically for that. I guess I'll just walk around. Hey, guys, check in. Check in. Yeah, uh, what's up? Yeah, I'm not getting anything from Ben. Okay, hang on. Bear, come in. Can you check in, Bear? Uh, Jen? Yeah? It's probably batteries. Yeah, but Bear's in charge of batteries. He's, you know. Totally anal about it, I know. Uh, yeah, I'll check on him. Where was he last? Uh, the greenhouse, out by the woods. The greenhouse? It's unsafe. Can someone go check on Bear? Over. I'm stuck in the canteen. Seven nine four two Garden Room. It is likely to have been a conservatory or garden room beyond. The dense woods of Wolfenden creep ever closer to the old building. Ghost Watch believe this space has a strong link to the past. <laughs>
I think we're finally going to get to grow our flower. Can you use all of these? This too. Roses, but they're not the right color. They're not the ones that Isabella loved. Oh, I think we're going to get into science. I see test tubes. And of course, we have numbered plots and stuff. And this is horticulture yeah. class. Heck yeah. Hold on. That says Thomas Harding Poetry, 1980 something. Oh, damn. This is dirty. Roses, music, and... Uh, a band of silver to adorn finger. She likes roses. Anything else here? She whispers that... Her voice grows faint. She's fading away. I must seek her in her favorite place. Of leaf, petal, and bloom. The scent of roses and music will draw her near. I shall be ready. A task has been set to keep the students busy. Horticulture. pH levels of local soil types. I wish to know if there's anything unusual about the local geology. It will prove useful, for the rose is an old variety, extremely fussy about light, soil, and moisture. Pot ash, dry, ash from a fire. Yeah. Choosing the right soil. Take test tubes plus exercise Book. Collect soil samples. S pH test in science lab. In the like, mark the answers in the exercise book. Turn your book into me for marking. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have that sound. Finish the task, they failed. So, you want me to do... Like, 40-year-old homework. Okay. I know there's more to it than that, but it sounds funny if you put it that way. Hmm. That was music, and I think the sound of Isabella laughing. Music was mentioned in Thomas Harding's poetry. Transported. They've gone through one of those time events. 
and it shows it growing. Well, here. Should I plant it right now, or should I do soil tests first? They show it growing. Now, now, quiet and down. Patrick, do you want me to call Matron? Hmm? Thought not. So settle down. It's horticulture today. Seeds, soil, and growing things. Pick up an exercise book with today's task. And get to work. Instructions are on the board. Now, leave me to my thoughts. Where it showed it growing, I think, was right here. I think this there was a bed here. Take a look at all the plots just in case there's like an item or something in them. Okay, so we need to take samples of each one. can't help but notice that they're not full. Maybe I should read the exercise book. Maybe I need to do the pH test before I leave the screen. No, it doesn't say anything about that. But it really doesn't look like I got the samples. So, yeah, let's try like that and then kind of just... Oh. Oh, it disappears automatically. Did we get them all? They look empty. Uh, I guess I'll just have faith that we got them all. Hello, uh, yeah. Just a quick question. Have you tried leaving? Down by the road? Try it. I think we're in a lot of trouble. And we've got to find the others. Try to leave. Okay. What? What happens? Yeah, it's no good. I tried. One step forward, one step back. We're trapped. And I have no fucking idea what's going on. Oh no, I gotta write each one down. 
purple, which is alkaline. Which means basic. Uh, that's soil six. Neutral. Low acidity. A little bit confusingly worded, but... I think, like, alkaline, low alkaline doesn't mean that it does not have much alkaline, which wouldn't even make much sense, but means that within the range in which it is considered alkaline, it's on the lower end of that range, which is where it would be. I think. Number five is acidic. I accidentally marked this one, by the way. But it's fine, you can change it. Orange, so that's low acidity. Blue. High alkaline. Basically no color, uh, neutral. That's for number two. Orange, low acidity. Okay, as cool as that is, don't I need to fill mine in? When did this get filled in? Is it... Oh, it's the same one. Oh, it's the same one! Okay. Right. I just realized if I use the night vision camera on this, you can read it all perfectly, which makes me think maybe we can read the diary... better or not. That's not any better at all, is it? Nope. Yeah, I'm not sure how to figure out what exactly we're looking for. Which one is the right acidity for the flower? However, soil number two is the only one that's neutral. And I don't know, that kind of stands out to me. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? I'm actually going to save just in case whatever the worst that could happen happens. Like the flower dies and we don't get it back. And then we're trapped here forever. Mm. It really doesn't say on here, right? No. What are we supposed to do here if not plant this? Peeked at the walkthrough, and it says you have to bring it back to exactly where you got it from the bench. So, do I just like set it down? I. Th I must have messed it up. Yeah, I guess I messed it up. Yes, I did do it wrong. Once again, looking at the very helpful walkthrough. Um. The orange, one from the top, the orange is low acid, and then the red above it is high acid. However, down here, the blue, the blue is low alkaline, and the purple is high alkaline. So, yeah, does that make sense? High, low, low, high? I mean, I don't know, maybe if you look at a science textbook, that's how it is, but usually when I see pHs, I see freaking numbers, pH value of 5.2 or something. That's why numbers are good. And words like high and low acidity and alkal alkalinity are garbage. Anteeksi opettaja, minä korjaasin minun koti tehtävä. Or maybe I didn't. Yes. Oh, sorry, it's not the bench, it's the chair. 
Sorry, uh, I didn't mean to snap. It, it's my head. My, uh, allergies. I just need to concentrate. You finished already? Excellent. Top marks. We'll make a great young farm out of you yet. 